but in Kenya life is hard. I'm planning to go back. So nilikuwa nimeelezewa kiasi na marafiki kuwa nisifanye kazi juu na chini nifanye chini peke yake. When my health will be very nice because in Kenya for now I don't see anything to do. No business, no job. It's only there that I can access something to help my family. Sijui kulikuwa na nini. Tulikaa hapo 3 days no food, no shower. Understand my struggle, yeah. Do you understand my hustle, yeah? Do you understand my Okay, my name is Maureen Akini. I'm from Kisumu. I'm ex-Gulf. Okay, I went to Saudi because of the family challenges. I'm the second born in my family. So there is these challenges, no jobs, and I'm a single mom of one. So... I thought it's a good thing when I start searching for future for my kid. Yeah. So I decided, I hear my friend telling me about the Saudi. So she took me to the agent, then we connected to Saudi. Firstly, wakati nilifika Saudi Arabia, tu karibisho vizuri, ile crew tulienda nao. Reception, hai kwa mzuri vile. Because first of all, kwa airport, sijui kulikuwa na nini. Tulika airport three days, no food. No shower. So after that, ndiyo tukapewa ndege nyingine ya kutupeleka. Mi nilikuwa tabuk. Estate ilikuwa inaitua tabuk. Ndiyo tukapewa ndege nyingine ya kutupeleka. Kufika pale ndiyo tukambiwa tungoje kila mtu wa kujiwa na boss wake. So in the morning at five, my boss alikamu. Haka niuliza kama ni mkristo, ni kama ambia ya. Haka niuliza kama nisha ikuwa in Arabic country before. Kama nisha ijoin u. Islamic before ni kamkataza. So tukafika kwa nyumba. Kufika kwa nyumba, si kupewa time ya kurelax. Nilifika hivi ni kaanza kazi. Uh, then uh, kufika hivi kuanza kazi, food ilikuwa challenge kidogo. Kusababu mwanzo siku ni mezo ya zile chakula. So hata hiyo siku walikuwa mipika chakula sija hiyona. So hata siku kula. Though nilikuwa nanja. So kesho yake nikamuita huyo boss jua kwa naishi hapo msichana wenu nyumba kwa naishi hapo. Akaniambiwa kwa watoto 24 kwa hiyo nyumba wa mama moja. Na kuna watoto 19 juu wa mama wa pili. So nilikuwa nimeelezewa kiasi na marafiki kuwa nisifanye kazi juu na chini nifanye chini peke yake. So akanielezea akaniambia time yangu ya kufanya kazi. But akaniambia hakuna ku relax. Ukianza asubuhi paka saa yako ya kulala saa tano. so nikamwambia sawa nitajaribu kama nitaezana nayo so that's how i start my job working there i didn't finish my contract because i have some challenges i was very sick si kwa na damu and uh, mostly nilikuwa na faint so wakati nilikuwa napele kwa hospitali the, the employer mwenye ameniandika hakuwa na hiyo shughuli though she was a doctor lakini hakuwa na shughulika so the mom ndiye alikuwa ananishughulika at least anaweza nipeleke hospitali but kunipeleka hospitali inataka na pesa the employer alikuwa ameniambia amenikatia igama ile ya kunipeleka hospitali but si kwa hiyo yona hata siku moja so wakati nilikuwa napeleka hospitali waliagiza kuwa niandikiwe madawa fulani na chakula pia in that house no fruits they hide everything Chakula ile nilikuwa naweza ku access ni mchele, hiyo rice na nyama ama na kuku. So hospitali nilimiziwa ni kule fruits na ni buy dawa za kuniongeza damu. Na most nilikuwa napiga pasi. Vijana walikuwa kwa ile nyumba unapiga pasi pa kukinaeleweka. So ikanishinda. First time nilitumia pesa yangu kujitibu kununua madawa. But uh, ilizidi Na huu mama pia akawa tena ameongea na msichana yake sasa anipeleke hospitali. The medicine watakwambia umeze ni Panadol. If you faint, watakupeleka tu kwa room then wakupe Panadol. So nikakuja nikaona yenyewe my life is not good. Na agent the first thing nilingia kwa ile nyumba I was been paid 800. In that 800 
Boss alikuwa anataka nijinunulie mafuta, sabuni. Maybe nikitakizo fruits ni mpepesa. So I called my agent but my agent aliniongelesha vibaya na akani block. So I have no one to tell anything. So I talked with my family and my mama kaniambia maisha yako ni muhimu kwanza ushughulikie maisha pesa utatafuta baada baadaye so nikaongea na boss nikamwambia kama uwezi nipeleke hospitali and yet you complain every day nimekata igama pesa mingi igama pesa mingi na unipeleke hospitali wacha nitajilipia ndege nikatafute matiba matibabu so i decided to come home i pay my ticket with my salary so now it has been one week since i land yeah so but in kenya life is hard i'm planning to go back when my health will be very nice because in Kenya for now I don't see anything to do no business no job it's only there that I can access something to help my family naendelea na matibabu naendelea na madawa fruits pia nafaa kukula like greens you know huko greens hata wakinunua ni zao fruits wakinunua ni zao so I'm trying to gain that blood with fruits here mboga za kienyeji and that I would urge agents please listen to you to this to us sasa zile mnatutuma huko ama sasa zile tunakuja kwa ofisi zenu na tunatoka tukisema kwa tumepata agent tukifika huko someone can't come boy without a reason lazima kuna shida amepitia ndio uwezi fika tu pale na ukakimbia lazima kuna shida imekufanya ukakimbia agent please me, you have to listen to us tukikupigia simu just listen and at least to tusaidie other thing is salary salary and this now the situation now that salary they have to increase at least See, hey. do you understand my struggle yeah do you understand my hustle yeah do you understand my struggle yeah do you understand my hustle yeah do you understand struggle yeah do you understand my hustle yeah do you understand my struggle